to take you down the back straight. And there's no way that you could accelerate to any sort of meaningful speed. If you get that first hurdle wrong, believe me, the race is lost. So there is the lineup from the inside. Bukalova of the Czech Republic, Peskova of Slovakia, Santiago of Canada, Yusuf Jamal of Bahrain, Demers of Germany, Cockrell, United States, she's the favorite, Kalawan of Jamaica, and Abdul Rashid of Canada. Anna Cockrell, the quickest in the semi-finals by more than a second. There is a significant absentee here. Sydney McLaughlin, the world record holder, set that record last month in Eugene. She has decided to give these championships a swerve as she prepares for the Olympics. Not taking the same route as her fellow countryman, Jaheel Hyde, who you'll have seen skate through to the final of the men's 400 meter hurdles. He's going to the Olympics as well for Jamaica in this event, but choosing to come here and use this as part of his preparation. There's Santiago. Enthusiastic support coming from uh, behind the perimeter fencing. There is Yusuf Jamal of Bahrain, semi-final winner. Very muscular athlete. Technique not the best, though. She was starting to climb them as she got towards the end of her semi-final yesterday. Eileen Deme as well. She's done nothing wrong so far. Won a heat, lifetime best. Won a semi-final, lifetime best. Can she do the same in the final? Well, if she does, well, she'll have to beat this woman, Anna Cockrell. The title is hers to lose, superior by a significant margin in the semi-finals. Shannon Callowan of Jamaica, 56-29, her lifetime best. She's in lane eight, and here is Mariam Abdul Rashid of Canada. Outside 57 seconds, she's going to have to find at least a second to get into the medal hunt. Very difficult to see past lanes five, six, and seven for the medalists here, with Anna Cockrell in lane seven. Will take all the beating. Santiago there of uh, Canada. If she returns to her best from last year, she too could get into the medal hunt, but she hasn't broken 57 seconds yet this year. Women's 400 meter hurdles, the 45 meter run to the first barrier, 35 meters between them, 40 meters on the way home after that last hurdle. It's all about rhythm and speed. And over the last two hurdles, raw determination. Intestinal fortitude tested. The 55 seconds. of Jamal there, power packed in lane five. Went off very hard yesterday. Look at Anna Cockrell in the red of the United States. She's the first to touch down after the first barrier. Same story after the second. The American striding out and opening up a lead here. And Cockrell is so strong in the second half as well, but she's certainly testing herself here. And she's now up alongside Callowan, the Jamaican, who you could see noticeably responded to that. Yusuf Jamal is moving strongly. They're in lane five. Demez, the German's got a lot of work to do. Santiago at the moment, perhaps in third. Callawan of Jamaica running so well out there in lane eight, but can she keep it going? Cockrell appears to be away and clear. Look at the Jamaican, a brilliant run from her. And Cockrell, a little bit awkward over the last two. Yusuf Jamal almost came to a standstill. It is Cockrell, the champion. Callowan picks up silver, and it may well have been Santiago who came through for third. So Yusuf Jamal will ground to a halt over the last barrier. Demez, well, it would appear that the efforts and the commitment she showed in the heats in the semi-final did finally undermine her challenge. But Anna Cockrell led from start to finish, lifetime best, 55.20. You cannot get any better than that. That a simply brilliant run, Patrick. Yeah, nice to see you. I think you're absolutely right about the height of the hurdles because uh, <laughs> it 
doesn't have to be anywhere near textbook hurdling to uh, cover them well. She looked a little awkward over the last two flights, but so, so strong in that last 150. And as the Jamaican faded, Cockle coming through. Almost leads with a knee over the hurdle. Yes, let's uh, follow I mean, that use of Jamal. You can see her in the middle there, coming up to the ninth barrier. She's grinding to a halt. I mean, she almost comes down here with two feet together here. Look at her in the middle. Oh, whoop. Yes. And when you land with two feet, try doing that off uh, over the garden fence tomorrow. It's very difficult to run when you've landed almost with two feet together, particularly after you've given yourself full commitment for the previous 300 and... Uh, 60 meters, but Cockerell following in the footsteps of the likes of Lashinda Demas, Demas, who won this title 14 years ago before going on to win global titles. She holds the championship record a little bit faster than this woman. With every reason to believe that Cockerell could go on to pick up senior titles as well. Yes, look at the German as well, four from the left who. Uh, never really got into the race you can only think that when she got to the final she was slightly overshadowed but the Jamaican good run from her well worth her silver medal it is such a good test of mental and physical strength very few make that last 40 meters look easy not real good as well as any So there it is, lifetime best, Anna Cockrell. She is the world champion, 55.20. Callowan of Jamaica, brilliant run from her for silver. Santiago of Canada, the bronze.